a draw, and for El Paso, a team that has lost just twice in 35 competitions this year. There's a good reason they are atop the Mountain Division in the Western Conference. The reason why they're top of the table. Impressive side, and on those 35 goals scored, assist on wow. 27. Going through oh. Luna just <laughs> off the mark. If either side has a goal in them, or we will go to the locker room scoreless at the break. Out to Doof. Doof plays around one. Doof, edge of the 18, serves it to the far post, has a man bouncing around and in the net. Goal, bowl. And I think it was Pino, it was Pino finally, finally doing it, and you see his teammates mobbing him. It belongs to Pino, that's no own goal or anything like that. That's the Brazilian doing what he does, finding the back of the net. We back with Luna, wants it, gets it. Luna, his oh, shot oh, into oh. the back, goal, El Paso. What a strike from the 18-year-old Diego Luna. Right here, gets it, a little one-two combination work, and oh. Brazilian, another striker. Paso no doubt looking for that winning goal. They are not content to settle with the draw. Will it come here? It will indeed. The flag stays down in El Paso. Finds the go-ahead goal, Locomotive, two to one. Here it is, Solignac lays it out. And just the touch finish there from number seven, Aaron Gomez, gets the job done. Get what can Sonny G do here? The local hero. He's already cemented his status in Austin soccer lore. Can he find one? He does! Austin with the goal, Sonny G with the equalizer. 94th minute of stoppage time, and it is the local hero who comes up aces. Sends it in over the head of Taylor Ketterer, misread it. And Austin has found the equalizer at the death. 94th minute, and you could not have written a script like this in a Hollywood movie. So the final whistle blows. Austin comes back to split the spoils. The native son comes up huge. Sonny Wadarama.